Okay, what we're going to talk about today is the Hindu Arabic number system. Hindu Arabic number system. Now, the Hindu Arabic number system, it may sound exotic, but it's just the same system that we normally use for numbers in the English speaking world. Okay? We also call it the decimal system. And we call it the decimal system because dec, D-E-C, is the prefix for 10. So the Hindu Arabic system, or the decimal system, is based on powers of 10. And what I mean by powers of 10 is that we use 10, and we use, or 10 to the first, which is equal to 10. We use 10 to the second, which is equal to 100. In other words, 10 times 10, that's what 10 squared means. 10 to the third, which is equal to 1,000 and so on. And we use those numbers, that decimal system, to talk about, uh, to describe numbers, okay? Now, we use, and I'll come back to that in a second, but we use, there's several terms that we need to talk about in this context. You'll probably find that a lot of these are revision, you've heard them before, some of them you've heard for most of your life. First one we need is digits. And digits are just those things that we use in our number system, and there are 10 of them. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Okay? Those are the digits. Okay? The digits. Now, when we talk about place value in the Hindu Arabic number system, what we're talking about is the numbers that we're dealing with, okay, and the, their place in that number. So, for example, <coughs> excuse me, so for example, now you are probably familiar with the values of each place. So let's use, for example, this number, we'll say 3, 2, 5, 6, okay, and this number is, this is the, well, we'll start over here, this is the ones place, this is the tens, this is the hundreds, and this is the thousands. Okay, those are those, are those numbers, those places, and as we go further and further to the left, those numbers get bigger, ten thousands, hundred thousands, millions, ten millions, hundred millions, billions, and so on. Okay. We'll talk about numbers to the right another day, but for this purpose, that's what each of those are. Okay. Now, when we specifically talk about place value, the value of a number depends on its place in the big number. So, for example, let's say that we were talking about this digit here. It's not just a 5. Why? Because it's in the tens place. Now, we could write these numbers 1, 10, 100... 1,000, okay, we could write them that way, but when we talk about place value, this is a 5, 5 times, and it's in the tens place, so it becomes 5 times 10, which is equal to 50, okay? If we were to use the 2, let's talk about the 2 instead, if we were to talk about the 2, the 2 is 2, and what place is it in? It's in the hundreds. So we say 2 times 100 is equal to 200. Okay? That's how place value works. Now, when we talk about a number, then, we can write it. Here's another term that you need to use, that you need to understand. I'm going to erase this for just a minute. We'll come back to it in a second. When we talk about expanded, Form. 
We want to take a number and write it with each of its parts expanded, the place value expanded for each of those things. So we're going to use our number again, 3, 2, 5, 6. Now you would all know that number is 3,256. If we want to write that number in expanded form, this is the thousands place. So we're going to write 3 times 1,000 plus, this is in the hundreds place, so we're going to write 2 times 100. This is in the tens place, so we're going to write 5 times 10. And this is in the ones place, so we're going to write plus 6 times 1. Okay? That's all that it takes to do expanded form. We'll do another example of that in a minute, but that's what you need to think about when we talk about expanded form. Now, there are also several symbols that we're going to use consistently, and we're only starting on these now, but again, mostly these should be revision, so we'll see how this goes. We'll need this symbol. What does that symbol stand for? Equals. That's right. This says equals. Okay? Now, if I have this symbol, very similar symbol, but what that symbol means is, because it has the line through it, it means not equals. Or is not equal to. Okay? So, for example, we could say 4 equals 4. 4 is not equal to 5. Okay? Is not, equals to, not equal to 5. I'm going to actually rewrite that in a way that makes a little more sense. Is not equal to. All right? Now, you've also probably seen these symbols before. There are a lot of different ways that people remember these. Uh, one method is the crocodile method, which says that our crocodile eats the bigger number. Okay? Uh, the way I prefer it is the bigger side of the sign points to the bigger number. So, for example, we could say 2 here and 3 here because the 3 is a bigger number. Okay? The formal way that to talk about these is, this is, is greater than, is greater than, and this one is, is less than. Remember when we're talking about numbers like this, we're just talking about uh, number sentences. So if I were to put, again, a 2 here and a 3 here, let me write it down here where it's a little bit bigger. You can see it. 2. The way we would read this is 2 is less than 3. Okay? Now, the symbols that might be new to you are these. And you should see that this and this are pretty much the same. They've just got this little line underneath. And so what this means is, is greater than, or equal to. This is greater than, one is greater than or equal to something else. So for example, we could say, 3 plus 2 is greater than or equal to 4, because this is 5. We could also say 3 plus 2 is greater than or equal to 5. Okay? Or we could say 3 plus 2 is greater than or equal to 3, or any number of other numbers on that side. Okay? An infinite number of numbers. This one, again, you would see is the same sort of an idea. It's the same as this, with a line under it. So this is, is less than or equal to. Okay? And two more symbols, which essentially mean the same thing. And that is this one, which sort of looks like a... Uh, a squiggly equal sign, 
or this one, which is an equal sign with a dot above it and below it. Okay? And when we use those, we say things that what those mean is, is approximately. Approximately equal to. So we're comparing two numbers, and they are approximately equal to each other. Okay? So, excuse me, for example, if we were to take a number, and we're not going to deal with fractions very much right now, we'll do that a little later, but if we took a number like 99 out of 100, that's almost everything. Not quite. It's almost everything. It's almost 1. So we could say that that is approximately equal to 1. Okay? It's not quite 1, but it's approximately equal to 1. Now, it's important that you have these definitions and these ideas down. If you want to pause the video for just a second and make sure that you've got them all written in your book, that would be great. And we're going to do a couple of examples. So if you want to pause the video, do that now. Okay. We're going to go on with our example set. I'm going to erase this. Two kinds of examples. We're going to start with this number. And what I want to know about this number, 437, what I want to know is the value of 4. I want to know the value of 4 in this number. That's not just a 4. Why? Because it has a place value. Which place value is this? This is the hundreds. So we say 4 times 100 equals 400. Okay? Just that simple. And we could do the same thing with a different number. Let's say that instead our number was 5, 4, 3, 910. What is the place value of the 4 here? What is the value of the 4? The value of the 4 is it's in the 10,000 place. It's in the 10,000 place, so we say 4 times 10,000. We multiply that, and we get that the value of 4 in that number is 40,000. Okay? That's one sort of problem that you'll look at when you're working on these. Now, you want to make sure you have that idea down. The other one that we're going to do is we're going to take a number and we'll say 537, 537, and we want to write 537 in expanded form. So we're going to write 537 in expanded form. We'll start by writing the number down. And we're going to go through each digit one at a time. We'll start with this one. The 5 is in the hundreds place. So 5 times 100 plus go on to the next digit. The 3 is in the tens place, so 3 times 10, plus, and the 7 is in the ones place, so 7 times 1. And that's writing 537 in expanded form. And that's all we have for you today. So make sure you get those examples written down so that you'll have something to work off of when you start the work of this section.